<laughs> Wait, no, I'm ready. Too late. Restart it. Uh, play the music? Yeah. Don't hear it. Check your microwave. Checking it. What's with you and your microwaves right now? The, the new default settings set it to microwave. Shut up. <laughs> He's right, though. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, and I've realized again that you still don't have like a group name. Um, so at some point, decided on one. You you pretended to last like last story, <laughs> but nobody liked it. And then you all forgot when you started this time. Anyway, what was it? I don't know. I forgot it too. It was. I think it was well, Travis's it was... idea. Doesn't really yeah, matter. Really cool, my idea. So last time you guys made your way through more of the ziggurat, figuring out various puzzles, you came into a big room with kind of a blocked off place in the middle, and Jem the cat went running around the place and ran into some guys that were weird, and we went into initiative. The guys that Jem ran into, that none of you recognize, you don't know what their deal is, a group of five identically dressed goblins, each of which wearing a fantiful, fantasiful pink outfit, and each of them holding a scepter with basically a goblin head on it with a goofy grin. And they've been dancing around, and you have all moved up, but other than that, nobody's done anything, and they're just kind of dancing. Fantasophile, I mean. Fan, fan, fantasiful. Isn't that a word? Fantastical? Like, no. Like fanciful? Like fancy? Oh. Hold on. Probably fanciful. Like fairies. Fantasiful reminds me of like word. fantasy. fantasy oh, probably fanciful is what I, I mean. I think you. Yeah, I think it's fanciful. Alright, so the fanat. Fanatatasiful. <laughs> the the fan of files. Yeah. I love how you corrected it to a different word that I also don't. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oh, there's a baby. Anyone uh, watch the cartoon Jurassic Park on Netflix? All right, I'm back. I didn't know that existed. It's a series. It's actually pretty good. Oh, so. damn. About to watch that. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, let's see. So it's Brio's turn. Um, I don't know that you guys have really been told what's going on. Like, you didn't describe anything... Um, what, actually, before I move him, what is his speed? That's probably a good thing to know. What's I think that for? two people did, like, like they checked to see if they knew what the creatures were. and they. Yeah, I know, but he did. doesn't know what everybody's looking at. Oh, okay. Recall that he's a goblin. Uh, So he comes around the corner, and he kind of looks at him for a second. And oh uh, no, that's uh, he wouldn't. Okay, he's not good at history either. Okay, sixteen. Um, he says, "Oh damn! I never thought I'd see these guys." Jim, your turn. Damn it! I'm a cat, so I can't ask him. Mm-hmm. Uh. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't know if I should fight him. Your cat. Figure out what you want to do. You could do nothing. It's up to you. Uh, no, I don't want to do nothing. Hold on. I can... I don't know what smelling them would do. You'd know what they smell like, that's for sure. Okay, I guess I'll I will smell them. 
Oh my god. I don't know what else to do. I could attack them, but they're not attacking. Can't you just transform uh, back into a, a, your human form? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Wait, are you going to smell them first? You might as well smell them first. <laughs> okay, well then I moved 10. What do I roll? I mean, I don't know them? how these people are giving you advice when you're a cat. How do I smell them? <laughs> I was going to smell them anyway. How do you smell them? I mean, make a perception check. I mean, I don't know. How good's a cat at sniffing? Well, I thought it was like some it special keen... cat ability that you were reading. It does. Keen smell. The cat has advantage on wisdom checks that rely yeah, on so smell. So click, click okay. the per where it says skills perception. Click perception with advantage. And... I'm already on advantage. Oh, well. I'm sorry, then. <laughs> 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 All right, you learn. I to myself. <laughs> you learn that these are goblins. They smell like <laughs> goblins. Some brio goblin. All right, so you use your action to smell them. You use your bonus action <laughs> to transform back into yourself. And, and you now have 20 I'm gonna feet be the first one left. to die. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I can move. You only move. You got 10. 20 feet left. Yeah. All right, I'm going to move back over here. And I'm done. Great turn. Thanks. <sighs> well, she at least gets to see if they make an opportunity attack on her, and I have to look and see. Um, I don't remember what your role was, so I'm just going to do that. Roll. Um, Yes, for your initiative. I'm going to say he does not attack you. Um, okay. So, two of these guys are going to, well, let's see. The closest one to number one holds up his scepter and starts to cast a spell. Counter spell. Okay. What level is your spell? Uh, it is level three. Level three? Okay. Um... This is a level 4 spell, so roll a d20 and add your charisma. D20. You need a 14. My charisma is 4, so 15. Alright, you cancel that one. Alright, the next one over raises his scepter up and goes to cast a spell. I can't count a spell again, can I? No, nope, you used your reaction. And so on Brio, Gem, and number one, he's casting Confusion. Um, each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere must succeed on a Wisdom saving throw or be affected by it. So the three of you should make Wisdom saving throws. It's going to be so satisfying oh, chopping wow. these guys' heads off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fail, succeed... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I don't know. i got to look at what their DC is. For some reason, I had 13 in my head, but that might not be right. Uh, DC 12. All right. So number one is the only one who failed. Um... Okay, so an affected creature can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each turn to determine its behavior for the turn. Um, the third one over moves to here and casts Confusion on Scully and Aladar. Make a Wisdom saving throw. Scully is confused. Aladar... Succeeds. All right. The next one over casts it on Brio and Gem again. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. 
Gem succeeds. Brio, why aren't you rolling? <laughs> Fails. That's really bad. All right. Um, last one doesn't know if Gem has been affected, so he's going to move over here, and he's going to hit Aladar again. Wisdom saving throw, please. <clears throat> Success. All right. Um, I guess I can show you where they are on the initiative since they just took a turn. Here we go. Eldar, you're up. You're gonna Eldritch blast the one south of me. Okay. Before you roll. Okay. Before you roll. Um, let's see here. Make a charisma saving throw. All right, go ahead and make your attack. Okay. The first blast goes to hit him. He raises his scepter and uses his reaction to reduce the damage to zero. Interesting. Second attack. He takes 12 damage. You can tell that hurt him a lot. Hmm. I would like it. Wait, did he not roll a d10? He's not confused. Oh, he weren't. Okay, I thought it was a success. All right. Do you... Well, I'm sorry, Travis? Didn't you say 12 was a success? Uh-huh. Like, he, oh, he succeeded? Or the spell yeah, succeeded? Yeah, there's a DC of 12. Okay. I thought that was 13. Um, no, that was from when I was talking about how I was confused and thought it was 13. But it's actually okay. 12. Cora, you're up, unless Eladar wants to move. Um, wait, wait, give me one quick second here. And, uh... and she's hitting the wrong buttons and she backed out of the game again. <laughs> Someday, someone's going to have to tell me how that happens. There's a button on the mouse that is the same as hitting the back key. Oh my god, reprogram that. Why would you have that? That sounds <laughs> like Travis's I, job. I have that too, but I just don't <laughs> hit it on it. Oh, so I'm two, just a goddamn idiot. <laughs> my mouse has three buttons. Left click, backspace on a website, and restart computer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a right click or a wheel. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Okay. Cora, now here's the thing, Cora. You're all the way over there. You have no idea what's going on. No. Right? You see, you see Jem go around the corner as a cat, then come back as a person. Then you see Brio and and Number One and Jem kind of reacting to something, but you don't know what. It's your turn. Well, I gotta go see what all the fuss is about. I gotta go fast. Okay. How far is that? Uh, it should be 25. Okay, so you use your full movement. And can't see anyone. <laughs> nope, that's it. So you've got your action and bonus action left. Remember, um, as a rogue, you can use your bonus action to... Let me find it again. Go... What is it? 25? To dash, disengage, or hide. Which means you can move again if you use your bonus action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. I'll you stay see, here. You see five goblins in pink outfits dancing around with scepters. They look completely non-threatening. What do you do? Um. You have an action if you want to do something. I'm not. I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. So Scully, roll a d10. I think I'm gonna open up the uh, the spell in D and D Beyond. They have like a better chart or something, maybe.
Yeah, it's a better chart. What'd you get? I got a 10. Okay, I actually still don't see the roll. Ah, uh, you can act normally with it. You got... No, you got a 2. <laughs> um, the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. Okay. You have a bonus action, though. Uh... Can I talk? I'm going to say no, because this is your confused. Uh, I will do nothing, then. Okay. Uh, so t make the wisdom saving throw again. Okay, you're still affected. Number one, roll a d10. You rolled a one. The creature uses all of its movement to you move in a random direction. Roll a d8. Um, a I typically do. Let's see. With a d8, one, two. So a for me, an eight is directly north, and a one is northeast. You got a six, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you run directly west. Do I keep going past these guys? Yeah. Right. You have to all use right. all its movement. So you don't take an action. So yep. You run all the way there. They don't attack you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wisdom throw. Right. Yes, make the wisdom save. Yeah. Yep, you're no longer confused. Right. Rio also got a one. He eight. He got a two. Um, so that's as far over as he can move, and that's his turn. Save. Yep. Failed again. Jim, you are not affected by the spell. Go ahead and move, or do whatever you're gonna do. Rather. I'm gonna move here. Okay. So I'm going to throw an ice knife at the guy in front of me. The guy in front of you? Yeah, so... So is the I... explosion going to hit both? Uh, so the ice knife is aimed at that guy. Um, and then if... It hit, well, on the hit, uh, hit or miss, the shard explodes. So the target... Oh, hold on a creature. second. All these guys want is for us to not fight. Everyone's just trying to kill them. Oh, we didn't start attacking them. Either they didn't attack us either. They confused us. Okay. If I confuse Should you, I more, not... does that make you want to kill me? Yeah. If you use a spell, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was say, should I not be he throwing He made me run away. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I thought we could at least talk to Brio, who seemed to know them. Yeah, but he's idiots. confused now. Well, yeah, right now he is. See, if Even we had confused him, we could have talked. Right, well, like, if I if I wait and and don't do something, then my next turn, or their next turn, they're going to confuse me, and then okay. we'll never get to ask Brio. Sorry, guys. Hey. I, um, Finn's been sick since Saturday. And now the baby's got all stuffy nose and everything, and Kristen made me hold the baby while she went to the store to go get stuff to clean out the baby's nose. And I had to give the baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby yeah. back. We're hoping it's just cold, <laughs> um, but we did get Finn a COVID test on uh, Saturday, and we're not going to find out the results until tomorrow, so I'm going to uh... work from home tomorrow just in case. Yeah. Ain't nobody going anywhere tomorrow. I know, Maybe. right? We always get less snow than you guys. Okay, so you're throwing the ice knife. <laughs> yeah, it has two things. Um, you attack one guy, and then hit or miss, people within five feet of wherever you threw it have to make a saving throw. So are you trying to hit both of them with this, or throw it in a way that you only hit the one closest to you? 
The description is you create a shard of ice and fling it at one creature within range. So I can't throw it at Keep reading. Both. I just explained, but you obviously didn't understand. I don't know. You're cutting in and out. You're cutting in and out. Am I cutting in and out for everybody? No. Um, she's no. full of shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she goes, yeah. <laughs> Teresa, it says, hit or miss. The shard then explodes. The target and each creature within five feet of it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. Okay. So you're trying to hit so both So what are you them. asking? Sure. Okay. I yeah. Need you, I need you to make two charisma saving throws. Why do I need to do that? You don't know why. Because he told you to. That's why. Okay. Um, okay. Instead of making your, your attack, you suddenly feel overcome with the desire to praise this goblin and use your whole turn doing that. you have anything nice to say about this goblin? Is she gone? The thing I heard was goblin. Oh. Can you hear me, Teresa? Yeah. But uh, when you started talking, it cut out. I'm, not, I'm literally sitting right next to my router. Yeah. So you didn't hear anything that I said? Nope. I heard the last word. I heard goblin. Okay. Maybe you should reboot. We can hear you fine, so it's probably not your internet. Hmm. Yeah, I would try rebooting your computer. It's the easiest way to fix anything. Okay. Right okay. now? Yeah, yeah restart right now. I want to finish my turn. Okay. Or, no, yeah, yeah what, what, you, what, what you haven't been able to hear is that you have to spend your whole turn praising this guy instead of attacking him. He's gone. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, we tried. <laughs> we tried. Okay. The one that hit Aladar earlier. Let's see. Okay, Eladar, you suddenly um, think that everything around you is hilariously funny. And you start to laugh and laugh and laugh. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh, natural 20. All right, um... He's dead. Yeah, you're not affected. You're not affected by the spell. You you chuckle for a little bit, and then I don't know. You get pissed. You're not laughing anymore. Um, number one, you suddenly yep. think that everything around you is hilariously funny and start laughing. Make a wisdom saving throw. Ah, you succeeded too. Jeez, Cora, your turn. Fuck. Each of these guys is obviously using their scepter to cast spells again. Um. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, she thought I meant it was her turn. All right. Cora, oh. you fall to the ground laughing. Blech. You're laying oh. down on the ground laughing. This is Tasha's hideous laughter. Um. You are inca incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. At the end oh. of each of your turn, you can make the wisdom saving throw again. Okay. Um, and if you take damage, you get to make the, the saving throw at advantage. Mm, okay. okay. Um, incapacitated means that you can't take actions or reactions. Um, you can still move, um, 
but you're unable to stand up, which means the only thing you can do on your turns are your bonus action and your movement to crawl. I can do the worm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, let's see, I got I got two left. Um, so let's go number one again. You succeed. And then, Teresa, are you here? Teresa? Yes. You here? Yes. Uh, are you in the game again? Yes. Can you make a wisdom saving throw? Us? Raise your hand if you can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't see her. Okay, she succeeds too. So, in all of that, the only one who failed was Cora, who fell to the ground, rolling in laughter. I'm going to have this guy move so that they're all spread out a little bit more. All right, Aladar, you're up. You're not affected by anything right now. All right, I'm going to hit that guy again. Charisma saving throw, please. As you go to attack him, he lifts his scepter as a reaction. Um, okay, go ahead and shoot. All right. Um, he will. Um, where is that? Okay. He holds up his scepter. Um. Oh, yeah. This is him actually using his reaction. Um, and uses his reaction to re reverse that damage to zero, and then he heals one hit point. And your second beam. <laughs> 17 mm. hits. Just... Um, and he dies. Yes! And he, like, just slams into the wall poof, and goes to the <laughs> ground dead. All right. Cora, you are on the ground laughing. Um, you can use a bonus action to hide. Um... Or to dash, and you can use your movement, but that's all you can do this turn. Okay. I'm just gonna move... So if all you do is move, you can move ten feet. Okay. I'll, I'll just move there then. Okay, so she crawls laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that's how she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Scully, roll a d10. Uh, three. Um, you don't move or take actions this turn. Bonus action? I'm good. Some unfortunate rolls from you. Uh, number one. Uh, if I threw a fireball over here, it's 20 foot radius. Could I Where? just hit, like, I gotta switch my thing, sorry. Like, if I hit it here. 20 foot radius is much bigger than you think it is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, All right. Let me see if I can get. Well, I can just draw it, I guess. Alt for a circle. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's 20, 25, 30. Up and down is not correct, but okay. Yeah, it's just too big. All right. Um, I'll cast uh, Chaos Bolt level two. I'll hit this guy. Okay. I'll try so to hit that guy over there. There's going to be two things on this. First of all, you have disadvantage because you're in melee with another guy, and that's a ranged attack. Number two. Make a charisma saving throw. Twelve. I think that's good enough. Let me see. Everybody's rolling right in the spot where... Um... Yeah, that succeeds. Okay. Uh, so make your attack. Uh, 18, 
You roll a 1 and a 6. He holds up his scepter and uses his reaction to reduce the, the damage to 0. Okay. Anything else? Um, so that was this one here, guys. I'm going to counterspell his. I assume if that's some sort of spell that he used to reduce it. Can I mm -hmm. counterspell it? It's not a spell. Okay. So, and I'm not going to make you waste your spell slot either. Not a spell. So I think all I can do, I don't think I have any bonus actions. I could do... Yeah. Um, I'm going to move, actually. Sure. They don't seem to take opportunity attacks. Yeah, they seem to be using their reaction for something else. I'll move over there. Okay. All right. Um, Brio. Got a two. He doesn't move or take bonus action. Or move or take actions this turn. I'm going to have him just stay there then because that's all he can do. But he gets to make his save again at the end of his turn. Got a five. Scully, did you make your save at the end of your turn? Oh, you I sure did. You did. You succeeded. Okay. Real yeah. failed again. So the one guy who knows anything about these people can't tell you because he's still rolling too low to get out of the confusion. Jem. What happened on my last turn? Um. So you attempted to throw the ice knife, and then when you looked at the goblin, you suddenly had the overwhelming desire to spend your turn praising him. But I had to roll twice. You were trying to hit two goblins. So you had to roll twice. Okay. And you failed against the first guy. So you spent so your that... time praising him. <laughs> okay. These guys are very confusing. Um. Can, can I ask them, or like, do like a check to see if I know what they are? Uh, did you already do them? that? Weren't you the first no, one to I'll... see them? No, because I was a cat. She was dumb. I couldn't. I was a cat. Okay, I'll let you. I'll let you do that. Go ahead and um, make an intelligence check. <laughs> You're pretty sure they're goblins. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Every time we attack, they end up confusing me. Eldar killed one. But I don't know if we want to be killing them. Well, we're in too deep now. We might as well just continue with the murder. It's pissing, pissing me off. I just want to kill them. All right. They are pirates. That's <laughs> what we do. They are being really annoying. So. Okay, I'm going to try Ice Knife again. On who? The guy in front of me. All right, make a Christmas saving throw. <laughs> All right. So, what nice things do you say about this goblin? Your second, your you've you're you've spent twelve seconds now just complimenting him. Oh my God. Anything? I don't know. Come on. I'm too you're really frustrated. Into this guy. something. You're really into this He's guy. Pretty handsome, isn't he? What would you say? Well, how cute he is. Got a nice pink hat on. So fluffy. <laughs> Must have been glute day at the gym. <laughs> Must be able to breathe real well out of that big nose. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've said all of that. <laughs> okay. Lame. All right. Um, Frustrated. Turn three. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. This one looks at Aladar and says, uh, um, uh, nice shooting there. Is the gun just for show? Um, make a, what check is that? Wisdom saving throw. It's not a zero. I don't know why it shows that. Okay. Um 
I think you take no damage. Yes, you take no damage yeah. from that. For DC zero save, of course he's going to take the damage. Uh -huh. Let's see. I Come no a little idea. closer and find out. Let me just see if I can fix why that's happening. Uh... Alright, um, this one looks at Jim and says, uh, are those the best compliments you can come up with? You suck! He laughed here. He's so mean. Yeah, make, uh, he's viciously mocking you. What am I supposed to do? Hold him safe. Doesn't save. You're so wise. No, um, my wisdom saving is eight. Nice. Yeah, that's why you're Good. so wise. All right, that's nothing happens to you either. Um, I laugh back. Um, this one looks at Scully and says, uh, "What kind of captain is below ground?" Where's your ship, loser? Pretty good. Now it's a 24. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. I, I don't... I See, like, I didn't program this. It's just bad. All right. Finally, somebody failed. Um, you, ha you take two psychic damage. And you have disadvantage on your next attack roll. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> I don't know where my ship is. I kick a pebble at the wall. <laughs> this one goes goes over to and looks at Cora and says, "Well, you've done a whole lot this fight." Don't look at me like that. Hey, I got it finally. Wisdom saving throw, please. Natural twenty. All right. That is their turn. Eladar. On him, she's always this useful. I uh, I'm gonna hey. um, blast the guy that was mocking me. All right, make a charisma saving throw. Twenty-seven. All right, make your attack. You're so charismatic. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a hit. He uses his scepter. No damage. Second one, that's a hit. He takes eight damage. Is he dead? No. <clears throat> Which one was it you attacked? This one. Okay. Cora, you spend your turn laughing and can make a wisdom throw at the end of your turn to recover from this. Do you want to crawl any place? Uh, yeah. Okay. She's running away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wisdom saving throw to get out of the spell. <laughs> nope, still under it. <laughs> She's just laughing. Oh, it's so <laughs> funny! <laughs> it, it's, it's one of those things where it hurts to laugh now. You've got tears welling up at the corners <laughs> of your eyes. Like, you're in pain. I feel like I have abs. <laughs> Scully? Alright, so I'm going to avoid the one that made fun of me because it made me sad. And I'm going to okay. go toward the one that Aladar blasted. Okay. And I'm going to swing with disadvantage. Okay, make a Christmas saving throw. Six, you spend your turn praising wait, this goblin. Wait, my charisma is, or my saving throw is disadvantage? Uh, no. Fifteen. You succeeded. Okay, Sorry. Because I, I forgot that I had to do that. Yep. I And I just looked at the number that was black. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I, I can still attack? It. Yes, you can still attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A ten is not enough to hit. You miss. Motherfucker. <laughs> These guys are frustrating, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, at least they're not hurting us much. <sighs> That's true. Gonna have to start it's hurting gonna, you. It's gonna take a while. Uh, number one. Do I get another attack? Um, if you do, yeah, sure. All right, you just fucking slice him in half. <laughs> 
Like you miss, yeah. and he laughs at you, and then you swing back. He doesn't see the axe coming back the other way, and you just chop his head off from behind. <laughs> and like, and the way his body falls too, he slumps to the ground against the wall, and then his arms rest in front of his stomach, and he actually catches his own head. <laughs> That's how I want to go. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I'm gonna slide down, and I'm going to twin uh firebolt that okay which two these two okay top two so make two charisma saving throws i don't know why i'm sorry i shouldn't have been at this well that's two that doesn't You're matter right. that's two yeah, saving throws you succeeded sure. on both okay one of the dangers to attacking two people is that if you fail either one of those you have to spend your turn Praising the the one that you failed against. Number one and Aladar both have plus eight to charisma saving throws. That's crazy. Well, they're both um, charisma characters, so that makes sense. Awesome. They're a, a mm -hmm. warlock and a sorcerer, and those are both charisma characters. Bad on the attack roll, though. Um. Okay, you missed the front guy. Okay. And the back guy. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I restarted my computer. <laughs> I click fireball. Missed the back, like, one. Right. Missed the back one as well. That's really good damage on that first one, too. What a waste. Uh, I'll move back up here. Rio got a four. Does nothing on his turn. Damn <laughs> it, Rio. Um, by the way, the one that got him was this one. Uh, that is, that is concentration, right? Which one was it that got him again? No, wait, that's not, that can't be the one. One in the corner. Okay. No, that can't be the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it can't be the one. I wouldn't, what? Have, I wouldn't have messed that up. Because one is concentrating on Cora and the other one's concentrating on Brio. He's so, concentrating on me real hard. The one with the this little black dot this on one's, This one's Cora. This one's Brio. Okay. The one that um, I've been trying to hit. Brio finally gets out of it at the end of his turn. But since it's the end of his turn, he can't say anything. Jim. Can I ask? I can talk to Brio, though, can I? Yeah. Okay. Brio, what, sh what are these? Should we be fighting them? Uh, they're nil bogs. They're horrible. Concentrate on one at a time. I don't know who who was attacked last. Mm, it doesn't matter because the only two that have been successfully hit are both dead. Yeah, I'm going to keep trying on the guy in front of me. <laughs> All right. What do you try to do to him? I want to try the ice knife again. All right, make a Christmas saving throw. A Christmas saving throw? Make a Christmas saving throw. And if you fail, millions of children all over the world are going to be... Oh, you failed. Christmas is no. canceled. Oh, damn it, Teresa. Christmas canceled. I told you she was going to ruin canceled. Christmas someday. All right, turn three of complimenting this goblin. <laughs> is she going to do it this time? I don't know. She might. Is oh that, no, I uh, ran out of compliments. You, you, never, any. you literally never said <laughs> any. <laughs> I don't have any compliments to give. It's the spell. You have to. I mm. like his ears. They're very long and they probably hear mm. a lot. Is that a you, Christmas tree in he, your he, pocket or am I just a lucky lady? He wiggles his ears. <laughs> 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 um, let's see. He says, um, uh, I've heard better compliments at the insult factory. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if you laugh in a second. <laughs> oh, he succeeded. Loves My wisdom saving throw is very high. All right. 
Just, this just like Jack Dick. Oh! This one runs okay, up. got him! And Baseball Bat swings his scepter at Aladar. I catch it with my pinky. I mean, I don't <laughs> think so, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one goes running up past, past Jem and Brio. Um, when he does that, Brio's oh, going to no. opportunity attack and try to stab him. And I'm going to say that hits. It takes five damage. He's got to roll for keep his concentration, too. Um, well, hold on. First, I've got to make a Christmas saving throw for Brio, which I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> nope. He is what not like six rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. He doesn't do the damage because instead he goes, "Wow, I really like your shoes." <laughs> Jim, do you want to attack I... this one? Yeah, I was gonna say. Make a Christmas saving throw. Oh God! <laughs> Every attack takes five rolls. <laughs> All right, you fail. Right after complimenting this guy, you turn to the other one. And he says, "You've got really nice ears too." <laughs> Damn All right, it. he takes his scepter and he tries to to crack it over Cora's head. What? Um, and let's see, incapacitated, can't take actions or reactions. Okay, so you're just gonna take five damage from that. I think you don't God, get a, I hit the wrong button again. You don't get a crit unless you're paralyzed, I think. Yeah, paralyzed is auto crit. All right. Um that's all three of their turns. Elidor, you're up. Um I will Um, gonna... Cora, Cora, make your wisdom saving throw at advantage because he just hurt you. I'm gonna battle X. Wait, do I hit? I will in the second. says I only have one bullet. Is that accurate, Joe? I thought I had five. You should have five bullets. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> All right. Alright, make a Christmas saving throw. Doesn't he have disadvantage? Yes, he does, but we'll see. Okay. Roll your attack again because you have disadvantage because you're so close. I thought I just put it in his mouth. That's not how it works. You don't get to just say that that's what happened. You think you are, John Wick? Right. You got a nine. You completely missed. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> you guys are not being used to being ranged <laughs> players. No. Well, he's right so, on top of me. It's right. So like as you, as, yeah. So as you, so as you <laughs> go to put the gun in his mouth and you go to pull the trigger, he takes his scepter and he he whacks you on the wrist, and the bullet goes very wide because if you try to shoot somebody who's standing right in your face, if you've ever watched any movies, it doesn't go well. Joe, life it's isn't like movies. Right. But this is D&D. &D. And by the end of this fight, you may not be alive. Ha 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 ha. Somebody was going to say something? No? Uh, Maybe Travis? Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I was going right. Well, Cora, about. you failed again. She's, she's just laughing and laughing. He whacked it on the hurts. head. She's just laughing and laughing. Uh, movement or bonus action, Eladar? Um, boop, boop. no. Okay, Cora. All you can do is crawl. I'm gonna crawl away from this situation I found myself in. All right, he's gonna use his reaction to opportunity attack you. God damn it! Uh, I mean, ha ha ha. Eighteen. That's your AC. You take another five damage. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> Why does Cora always... Every room you guys enter, Cora starts at half half health. It's true. Uh, I'm useless, that's why. Okay, Um. so 
Make your wisdom saving throw at advantage. Because he hit you. You succeed. It's so not funny anymore. You're still prone right now, um, but we'll work that out at the beginning of your next turn. Scully! Okay. I'm unaffected by things this turn. So far. See about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will attack. So, Christmas saving throw? Yes. I'm catching on. So I succeed. Yep. Now I can attack? Uh-huh. Be right back one sec. Yeah. What does he do? Um, uses his scepter to reduce the damage to zero. Oh, that one. That one kills him. I also had advantage that I, didn't, I forgot to use it, but. Right. Well. All right. Mm -hmm. Lower at the point in the fight where I'm going to tell you I've actually made this easier than their normal abilities. Typically. Every attack requires a Chrism saving throw. It's not once per turn. Ah. And um, the other thing is that when you fail it, you're charmed until the end of your next turn. Jeez. Which I thought was just too much. That's how frustrating these guys are. That's like a three-hour fight if we do yeah. this. I, so I made it a little bit easier just so you guys would have to figure it out. But normally... Yeah, every every time you attack them, you have to make the save, and if you fail, you have to praise them to the end of your next turn. Jeez. But even then, it's just a matter of everybody concentrating on the same guy and, and whacking at him till you kill him. Well, you have another attack, right? No, that was your second one already. Nope, yeah, that was my second. So, number one is up. Let's see if I can see the other guy. No, I can't. Um, yeah, I'll just attack this guy with uh, firebolt. So. All right, Christmas yeah. saving throw, please. Success. That he's going to use his reaction to make that zero. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Okay, Brio steps up to this one. Charisma saving throw. Succeeds. And he stabs it in the back. It already used its reaction. To opportunity attack Korra, so it's going to take the 9 damage. Um, actually, I think Brio, because he's an NPC, actually gets 3. So, attack number two. Yeah, he killed that one. He kills that one. And then he'll move over to the last one. And then he has advantage on his third. 20. Um, that one already used its reaction. Uh, but he does. It's a new character, so I would make him make the Christmas save. Um, and he got a 10. So, he goes over to stab this one. He goes, ah, his ears are nice. Uh, Jem, you're up. The last um, Nilbog, which is Goblin spelled backward, if you didn't figure that out. Okay, well... Unfortunately, most of my spells require me to be close to them. Do I still need to do a charisma saving throw if I hit him with a mace? Yes. When you attempt to do damage to him. I like his scepter. Isn't that nice? He looks he looks pretty jolly. Um He's got Sarah's toenails. I can't do it. I I'm I'll try to do the mace thing. Okay. So charisma again? Yes, please. Come on. Damn it. You have failed against this guy at least four times. It might have been five. Well, my charisma saving throw is negative one. 
Well, at this point, I think you try to kiss him. You have spent 30 seconds praising this goblin. Uh, Get her no, room. I would rather be on my knees bowing to him. Oh, just God. Him. No, you ain't gonna be bowing. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I don't want to kiss him. Do you see how pointy yeah. his teeth are? Uh, uh, well, I didn't say where. Don't, don't kiss his teeth. Uh, his tongue was next mm. round. No. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, his because hand. There's no L in that word. <laughs> she said she was on her knees bowing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you said pronounced blowing wrong. <laughs> okay, Scully, make a make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Gross, guys. Damn mm -hmm. it! So you you he uses Tasha's hideous laughter on you again, and you just kind of go, hey, hey, no, yeah, with with all of his friends' blood all over me. <laughs> Right. Um. Yeah, let's just figure out how long it takes you guys to kill him. Elder, speed it up. Oh, All right, you gotta spend your turn worshiping him. You don't. You don't make either of your attacks. You rolled an eleven. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> I mean, okay, you shot number one twice. Um, yeah, that sucks too because you rolled a 19 on both attack rolls. He's been rolling a lot of 19s tonight. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, Cora. Right. That guy's got some nice ears. <laughs> Cora, you spend 10 feet of your movement to stand up. Okay. And then you tell me what what happens after that. Um, I... I don't know. I'm just gonna move ten feet forward, see if I can get back in this bitch. Okay. So you try to climb in. <laughs> yep, you didn't quite fit. Feet. You can use your bonus use action your bonus to dash. Action to move. Okay. Okay, now what? I stand right here. Okay, good turn. Scully. Damn it. <laughs> you have such big ears. <laughs> big. He <laughs> nibbles the tip of his ear. Which part is a compliment? <laughs> such <laughs> big <laughs> ears. <laughs> I've complimented someone before. So. Number Noodles. one. All right, you succeed. He uses reaction to reduce the damage to zero. That's it. All right. Rio's turn. He's going to make a charisma save. He fails. Uh, okay. Gem, last, last chance before his turn comes up. Get him, Jim. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try again with the maze. <laughs> okay. Do the thing. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, I, I, understand, I don't understand. I understand that your thing is a minus one, but all you need is a 12 to succeed, so a 13 to 20 would be good <laughs> enough. You failed against him six times. <laughs> like, how is that possible? I don't know. If you were trying no, to do that, you wouldn't. Right. <laughs> also, Dude. Teresa, in a situation like this, um, don't forget about your poison spray or your create bonfire. You don't have oh. to hit them with a mace. You could cast those are cantrips that don't cost spell slots. Those two, those two attacks. Oh, so, just so you know. It, it, yeah, I did not know that. They're DC sixteen saves. Rather than you attacking with your mace, which I think is a plus two modifier with a mace. Yeah. See the damage Pretty difference, too? I did not so, know that. Yeah, you, well, there were, earlier, you were, we didn't want to use the poison spray because whoever you were fighting wouldn't, wasn't taking damage or something like that. I can't remember. 
All right, this guy needs to die. Uh, it would have been um, nice to know this whole round. Yeah, I'm. He's gonna. He's gonna try to run. Um, he uses his bonus action to disengage. Can he disengage three people? Yep. I think he's gonna get away. Eldar. You see him go running around the corner. Done. Cora. Huh. You see him go running off down the hall. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go there. That's as far as you want to go? I'm scared to get too close to him by myself. Okay. Scully. Don't be a bitch. Hey. 20 feet. 20 feet. Mm -hmm. I can see him. I can throw two and two. Or I, actually, I can't shoot. I only have one hand axe, so. Or do I have two? Oh, I have two. Uh, I will throw hand axes at him. Okay, Christmas saving throw. You succeed. Um, now he's twenty-five feet away, so I think you have disadvantage. The range on those is twenty sixty, right? I don't know. Where does it say that? That's a great question. Yeah, it says range twenty sixty. <laughs> so disadvantage. On both it's attacks. 60 and I, I have disadvantage? Hmm? Or it's 20 to 60, you have disadvantage. 20 feet is a normal attack. 21 feet to 60 is disadvantage. 61 feet and longer you can't do. So the first one he uses his reaction to reduce it to zero. The second one he takes six damage. Number one. He's right around the corner, number one. Is that your turn? Sorry, yeah. That was my action bonus action. Alright. Do his move one spot to the right. You hug you hug the wall. Okay, Brio uses his bonus action to dash. He leaps through the air to try to stab this thing. And lands right next to him and says Boy, those ears. I just can't get over it. <laughs> it's really unfortunate. Jim. How do I measure again? I just press the the ruler button? Yes. Okay. If you right click it sets a waypoint while you're holding your left click down. I don't get it. Did it, but then you let go of left click for some reason. Yeah, I did. Okay, that was fifteen. Uh huh. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you? And they said, <laughs> Scully said he's right around the corner. Well, I only have thirty feet of movement. Okay. Make the same mistake that number one made. I made a mistake too. What? 
I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> How do I fucking do this? Can I, I see? Can I see him? Can you see him? You can see. I mean, I can, can see, see part of him. No, you can, no. Well, the answer is no. Sorry. You have to be able to see half the token. Okay. Disc. disc. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have been able to get any closer anyway. So, you, you see where I am? am? Yeah, but I wouldn't have had enough movement to get to I, the other what side. What Travis means is he wanted you to go there. Yeah, if you could have moved there, you would have been able to see him. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's okay. Yeah. You learn. Yeah. You learn. It's angled. I didn't know exactly where he was. One, I thought he was right. closer one to the Mm-hmm. All right. Um, he is going to disengage from Brio and run away. He's gone. Shit. I got to figure out where the other room is now. <clears throat> um, where, where, where? he's. he's... He's moving that far, even disengaging? He can use a bonus action to disengage. Oh, okay. He's the biggest pest bat monsters I've ever seen. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to say the door's locked when he gets there. I, I, I don't even remember where the thing is. So he disengages, he gets there, the door's locked. So? He looks at Aladar, and he says, um... Your face is stupid and nobody likes you. Wow. Get close to home. <laughs> Just because it's true. <laughs> nice. Okay, you take four psychic damage and you have disadvantage. Do you have a hell of rebuke on him? Uh, yes, make a Christmas saving throw. Okay, make your attack. At disadvantage, because you have disadvantage until the end of your next turn. Did you get him? Oh, it's a duck save. There's no disadvantage. Okay, so he has to make a duck save. He fails, so he uses reaction to take zero damage, and move another 20 feet. Okay. Done. Eldar, it's your turn now. You have to make a charisma save if you attack him again. This is a different attack. Ten, you fail. You spend your turn making him feel good about himself. Cora. <laughs> These charisma guys that they can't even pass a DC 13. <laughs> He's failed every time until then. And he only failed it because he had disadvantage. I mean, well, the 13 would have succeeded. Cora, are you going to attack him this turn? If I can get to him. Okay. And you have a bonus action. I'll do a dash. Yeah, but isn't that. If I use my bonus action, then I can't attack? And absolutely. Oh, you attack with your action. Bonus means you your extra. Bonus attack. I'm gonna bonus attack you if you keep it up. Oh. Eh. All right, make a Christmas saving throw against Travis. <laughs> 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 it's too nice. I got it. I got All right. I shall attack. Oops. A saving throw, though. Oh, whoops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Oh, the backspace out of the website again. <laughs> Make a Christmas uh, saving throw. It did. I don't see it. Oh, 21. All right. Cora, Cora goes running up and goes to stab him. And he goes, no, wait. And she stabs him in the throat. Nice. <laughs> Yeet. And he dies. Right. Um. As that I... happened uh, to the south, you guys hear shachunk. 
Oh, Did y'all no. just hear a shachunk? I hate when I hear oh, a shachunk. I can't hear you guys, but I heard a shachunk, so. <laughs> when you go down there, the Four. bars blocking that, that way are gone. I'm going to cut this guy's ears off. Yeah, search bodies. Me. These are Probably really just nice ears. Running <laughs> I'm motivated. <laughs> um, actually, Aladar, as as the last one dies, all of their clothes and scepters disappear, and they're just five naked goblins now. Uh, okay, I don't want oh, to to them. You've touched a naked goblin. <laughs> I I am holding his his severed ears, and then I say, "What the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> <laughs> I drop the ears <laughs> and walk away. <laughs> that was gross. What the hell am I doing? And goblin ears? I'll need these? <laughs> I have my own two ears. Yeah. They're way more pretty than this. All right, cool. Is everybody ready to go? No. Cora, you get in the back. <laughs> what? In the back. Or actually get up here. You're this melee guy. Girl. Person. Person. I don't know what I am. Here, go past me, Cora. Are we going up? Yes. I don't know. I'm getting dizzy. Well, you got to get up to get down. This fucking state. <laughs> Scully, you come up to a ladder. Does the ladder go up to the top? <laughs> ladder goes all the way back down. It goes. <laughs> it goes up through a hole. Go up, and I climb through the hole. Hmm. All right. I'm fine. Um. So Scully goes Dies. up the ladder and climbs through the hole. Um, don't die. So Scully, when you when you come out, um, you enter into a room featuring two twin beds, a desk, and a couch. There are two doors out of the room and some wooden posts, which have been placed around the ladder with a chain stretched between them. There is a large, odd boulder resting on the rug beside the desk, and there is a snoring bugbear in one of the beds. Um. In between his snores, you can hear a voice through the double doors. Whoever it is seems angry. Mm. I want to um, climb up. Well, Cora's next, then Aladar. And can Cora, up? looking up the hole, you can see that Scully had been just standing at the top of the ladder. And, and when he moves, you climb up after him. Tell him, hey, hey, move the fuck out of the way. Hey, there's a bugbear sleeping there. Oh, yeah, do it. I probably should have healed before we came up here. Eladar, she hasn't moved yet, so you're just kind of stuck on the ladder. I'll, I'll move. Okay, oh, I'm moving. Couldn't find where we were. I'm tiptoeing. Eladar climbs up. Hey, Eladar, good job. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I mean, first of all, the four of you that are up there right now make stealth checks. You guys are just talking to each other. Go stab no, that guy. I'm not trying to be stealthy. Do I have to do a stealth check? No, not if you're not trying to be stealthy. Brio is no. though. No, I'm a captain pirate. I don't. I'm not scared of nothing. I was whispering. Go stab that guy. Yeah, everybody's gone. Uh, which way is the, the voice? Through the double doors. To the I want to go by them and listen. See if I can tell who it is or what they're saying. Alright, as you run by the rock... Wait, the um... rock's in the room with us? Yep. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... I mean, this is the rock? <laughs> it is. Yeah. 
Gonna need a bigger knife. Um. <laughs> You call that a knife? This <laughs> is a knife. No, it's not, Mister. That's a spoon. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you I've been before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why didn't I do the oh damage roll? God. Twenty-four hits you, Eladar. Wait, who hit me? The rock is a giant snapping turtle. I'm not anywhere near the rock. Um, I mean, Ryan. number one. Number one, you take 15 uh, piercing damage from this snapping turtle. Wow. And everybody roll initiative. Guys are just like, we're pirates. We're not going to be careful of our gun. <laughs> like, is that how being a pirate works? We should have learned learned our lesson from when I was a cat. All right, let's see here. He's going to die. <clears throat> All right. Um, so Brio sees this turtle suddenly bite number one, and he leaps into action, rushing over behind the giant snapping turtle. And um, trying to quickly stab it three times. The first one's a natural 20. He is going to use his sneak attack on that. This is going to be massive damage because he's got a good sneak attack. Gets him in the soft, fleshy spot. He does 36 damage on that attack. Uh oh. Uh what is I'm confused by his damage there. So why was it a nine plus two? A natural twenty. I understand that it was natural twenty, but like, why is it only two damage on the on the crit? Because it's a D eight or a D. Six. So it's just it's an extra D six. Rapier actually, his his damage is wrong anyway. It's a rapier. It should be a D eight. But anyway. What were you saying? I just didn't realize that he didn't get... I thought, I don't know. Never mind. doesn't matter. I'm sure okay. he's right. Um, and then he makes two more attacks. Another natural 20. Jesus. For another 12 damage. And then his third attack. 18 hits. Does another 6 damage. Like a ninja assassin here. He stabbed the shit out of that thing. Yeah. Cora. Carving up that turtle. Jesus. Okay. Mm. Like. Okay. Why not? Because there's no one on the other side of them. If you stand next to number one to the south, you. I'd give you flanking. Okay. So attack with advantage. Sixteen does not hit. And I can hit with my off hand, right? Yes. Sixteen still doesn't hit. This goddamn turtle. Nope. Okay. Uh, so on its turn, it's going to attack number one again. Not have advantage this time. Had advantage the first time because you were surprised. Why in the world didn't it roll the damage last time? I 
it didn't roll the damage again. And it's auto auto rolling advantage, even though I have it such a normal. Boy, well, it's a thirteen. So you roll thirteen. I need a shield. Okay. All right. So you shield, and it doesn't hurt you. Yeah. Um, it doesn't move, Scully. I want to rage and chop this bugbear in half. All right. Attack with advantage. Can't imagine you'll miss. Twenty-one. Okay. So you deal. 14 damage to him. All right, he's bloodied. Is it no, or is it still advantage? Mm -hmm. Second attack, is it still advantage? Oh, yeah. You have advantage because he um, is laying down. Uh, 11 damage just barely does not kill him. You almost got him. Okay, Jim. Okay. Um Let's see. What? Nothing. I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the poison spray on the turtle. All right. Do I need to be ten feet away? I'm okay to stay where I am then, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I won't hit. Nope, it's a single target. Him. Okay. So I just click on it then? Yes. It's been a while since I've had a turn. Constitution <laughs> save. <laughs> um, He got a 20. He succeeded, so it doesn't do any damage. That's Typical. That's advantage toggle. Auto roll damage. I fixed that now. Uh, sorry, Teresa. Um. Okay. Um. The door to this other room bursts open, and a bugbear in armor. Uh, I'm sorry, a hobgoblin in armor steps out, and he he comes out like ready to fight. And he looks around and sees all of you. He sees how hurt the turtle already is. The Scully has almost chopped this other bugbear in half. And he drops his weapon. And he says, um, Whoa, 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 whoa. We know we, we would lose this. We, we surrender. We surrender. And that's his turn. Number one. Does the turtle look like it understood what he said? Uh, make a perception check. Uh. Turtle drops his pizza and puts down his skateboard. It, <laughs> it, it does react to him, but you can't tell what the reaction means. Well, I'm gonna try to move anyway. If he attacks me, hopefully I don't get hit and all. Right. If he does attack you, you'll go down and fall down the hole and probably die from the fall. Probably. Yeah, so I'm go. gonna try to move here. All right. He doesn't attack you. All right. So I'll move back there. And, okay. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Is anybody planning to attack on their turn? I'll hold. I'll hold ready in case they attack. <laughs> Um, I'd say, what say ye, Captain? Uh, it depends. Your turtle took a bite out of my number one. You better be ready to pay for that. Um, he says, uh, well, I can get you off this island. That's a pretty good start. Right. Sure, we can't have some turtle soup. I don't attack. Okay, take us out of combat then. You might want to get some gauze for this guy. I love that. Uh, pic picturing it, number one goes by the turtle, gets bit almost in half, <laughs> and 
chopping up this bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on, kill the turtle. <laughs> the turtle. All right, the door the door opens and another bear, another bugbear comes in and goes over to the, for this one. And the guy points for the turtle to like walk out. Am I going to try to stop it from leaving? No. Okay. So it, I give it, it a dirty look. Then it leaves through the doors. Kind of curls up under this palm tree. Um. I say, you sure you don't want to eat the turtle? <laughs> it's no, almost I, ready. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to eat the turtle. I don't want to eat the turtle. You guys made it all the way through. The ziggurat, huh? Best. Chopped our way through. Yeah, that's really impressive. I don't think anybody's ever gotten through. Who are you? Pretty smart. Um, I'm the guy that can get you off this island. What's your name? I'm Scully. These are my pirate crew. My name... My name's Grant. You hear Grant. Watch the top of the hole. Someone put you up to that, or you getting paid for that? Didn't do a good job. Brio, Brio says, <clears throat> um, Captain uh, Grant Oversee is the leader of the Oversee Mercenaries. Why'd your turtle attack us? Why'd capture us? Um, because you were suddenly in the room. Um, it's it's it is a guard turtle yeah but you knew adventurers would be coming through the ziggurat why would you have the turtle here guarding people coming out of it nobody's supposed to come out through the ziggurat nobody's ever made it through the ziggurat and no yes. adventurers oh. wouldn't adventurers wouldn't go through it anyway because all that's between there and here is this island and the prison adventure there's no treasure all right, I, I'll give you that. <laughs> but, um, they're the mercenaries that imprisoned us in the first place. Yes. Is it one of them. Yes. Uh, and he didn't seem to realize that we were the same people. Oh, he knows who you are. That's why he surrendered immediately. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, why did you <clears throat> imprison us? Um. I would really like to cut you in half, so the sensor better be good. Because there's a very large reward for all of you put out from Corsair's mortgage. <laughs> for imprisoning us? We were set up. Oh, no. Well, it, matter the it was a spell. If he's getting paid for it, he's getting paid for it. He says, uh, if you want to go through my desk... He points at the the desk next to Brio. He's like, Every, everything on there should explain it. And you're just willing to let us go. I can't stop you. Yeah, I'd rather not die. So. What's to stop you from coming after us once we leave? Well, uh, he doesn't have any men left because we killed them all. Good point. Yes, that. That's a terrible point. I mean, it's not about me coming after you. It's about the reward in the first place, right? Well. I mean, who cares? Like, and besides, like, I understand you might want to kill me, but you can't get off this island without me. How would we get a reward taken off of our heads? Kill everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got yeah. some ideas on that, but perhaps you should go through the desk first. Okay, pokey. I, I check the desk for traps. Okay, make an investigation check. The desk explodes. My weapon up, by no, the way. No traps. Ready to cut in half at a moment's notice. Okay. Um, I want to see what letters are on the desk. Read them. All right. So. Okay. There's a big pile of stuff. The first thing is a wanted poster for Brio Pletch. Basically says he was wanted by a famous chef 
for sneaking into his kitchen and pissing in some soup, which ruined his relationship with some noble. The reward was initially set at 5,000 gold pieces, and there is some correspondence between the mercenaries and the chef, where he's trying to reduce the reward to only 500 gold pieces, as if the other zero was a typo, which explains why Brio has been kept in the prison for months. Hey, Brio. There is a description of the party stating that you are wanted for murder on Corsair's Morage, offering a 30,000 gold reward for Aladar, Jem, and number one, each, 35,000 for Scully, and 40,000 for Korra. Hey! I'm worth way more than that. <laughs> that is so much money. You are the one that, you know... Like... Them. To, to get an idea of how much money this is, take every number and multiply it by 300. That's the number of dollars. Whoa. So there's a 900,000... No, I'm sorry, a $9 million reward for Eladar. Uh, is, <laughs> is it for killing us? Or... What's, what's uh, no, alive good? only. There's another letter from an anonymous townsperson in the town where you were captured. That basically says this is where you are. There is a short spies report stating, quote, After conducting extensive reconnaissance in the area, it is my opinion that the Sky Tower is impregnable within significant magical prowess. There's a second spies report which says, The ship has been successfully launched. We do not have the resources to successfully eliminate it at this time. There is a second request from Corsair's Morage requesting that the Oversea Mercenaries destroy something called the Floating Flagship. And there is a half-finished reply to that message basically saying that the Oversea Mercenaries would be unable to accept the job. Hmm. I want to ask them about that ship. Okay. Um, about the floating flagship? Yeah. Where can we find this ship? What's its deal? Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> he says, well, that actually brings me to, um, what you can do to get this reward removed from you. Um, so... Let's see, I've kind of said that not the way I wanted to. Um, you know, first of all, yeah, why don't I just back up and go through his speech. Um, he says, uh, first of all, um, you can't get off this island without me. There's no ships here, but I can get you off just the same. Second of all, if you kill me, all you're doing is creating a second defense that Corsair's Moors will be going after you for. They'll send other people. Um, what you really want is forgiveness from Corsair's Moorage. And I know how you can get it. And you're likely going to get lots of treasure along the way. You see, pirating's in danger. The largest kingdom in this region is Felidosia. King Ratterwin has hired a wizard, Yulin Skytower, to craft a fleet of flying ships. Sky Tower has recently completed the first of such ships, named the Floating Flagship. The pirates are concerned that the Felidosian military will use their floating ships to eliminate all the pirates, and thereafter transport all their goods by air. So the pirates want this ship destroyed, along with Sky Tower and all of his work. Sky Tower is the wizard. I was asked to do it but I do not have the resources or magical power required to be successful. However, I think that if you are successful, you will earn the forgiveness of Corsair's Morage and probably many rewards on top of that. The first thing you'd want to do is attack Sky Tower, kill the wizard, destroy his work, and steal whatever will aid you in attacking the airship. Then, attack and, and destroy the airship. Kill, steal, plunder, and destroy. That sounds just like our kind of job. Mm -hmm. Brio, Brio would pipe in at this point and say, um, 
yeah, if if, uh, if he can get you all off, I'll stay behind. And if if he if he double crosses you, you can let me know, and I'll kill him. Uh, but if he doesn't double cross you, I've got a way I can get myself off. But only me, so it doesn't really work for the group. Um, where is the rest of my crew and our ship? Uh, Grant Oversee um, says, uh, well, after we captured all of you, um, they were all poisoned but alive. We threw them on board your ship and cut the lines, sending it just off into the water. Um, that was only a day and a half ago at this point. So, I'm sure they're fine. Christ. Better be. Or coming after you after this is all over. Rio says, well, I'll be here, though. Like, just tell me and I'll kill him. We could, we, I, I'd like to kill him myself, but I suppose if you're here. But, well, how many men are left on this island? Grant, the overseer looks around the room. I mean, did you kill everybody down below? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is this is it. Wasn't there still above though? Huh? Rio fighting some guys. They went up some elevator thing. It fell. Remember, Rio. Rio fell off. Rio fell, but didn't the other guy make it up? He fell in the lava. Oh, he died. Where, yeah, where the did other that... guy fell off into the lava. Where did that exit go to? Is that Elevator? on the island? Yeah. yeah. He says, he, he he points north. He says, yeah, it's just outside. Um, None of you have actually gone outside yet. No. So, the point of my question is, is Brio going to be here, be okay here? By himself? Brio says, uh, yeah, just we'll just take all their weapons, bring them all outside. I'm very capable. Um, What's that? You want to stay with him? No, I don't want to stay with him. I just don't know if it's a good idea for him to stay here at all. He's not a part of our crew. He can do whatever he wants. Um, he's wanted to, so he benefits from us doing this as well, I would assume. Yeah, of course, he wouldn't just be... Just looking out for him. He wouldn't be off the hook if we were forgiven. He's I mean... He says, he says, look, guys, if I'm being honest... There was a 5,000 gold reward on my head that, you know, that guy's never going to pay it. You guys, the total reward on you is like 150,000, or no, wait, uh, yeah, I think it's higher than that. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I need that kind of heat. That's fine. Five. But my point is, you don't have to stay here and risk your life for us further. You can leave with us and then go your separate ways once we get off the island. I haven't decided... Never mind. It's your call, obviously. Just no, wanted to throw that out he'll, there. He'll take you aside, Eladar, so he doesn't have to say this in front of Oversee. Mm -hmm. And he says, look, after you guys leave, I might kill him anyway. <laughs> I haven't decided. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I want to stay, <laughs> so I can I can decide. Noted. That's, that's fair. All right, Brio, but, you'd but be he, doing us a great favor. He's wearing a cloak covered in <laughs> parrot's feathers. Um, that I initially described when he pulled it out, but I haven't really talked about it since. But he points the feathers and he says, "I can get out of here. Don't worry about it." All right. Dang. Are you a bird? You're not there, Scully. <laughs> He's just talking to Elder. Scully's suddenly right by both of their faces. top of them. He's just, are you a bird? I'm the captain. <laughs> All right, so um, I shared that, and I'm going to share this. As more information for you guys to look up. So you guys should have, under Ziggurat, you should have 2.1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 now, right? Yes. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. 
Um, let's see here. Okay. So I'm going to share this document. And there should be basically no information there. Okay, so then you ask him about it. He says, uh, so this ship, it flies through the air like a sh normal ship sails. It's faster than most sailing ships, and it doesn't use sails. But no one knows what makes it go or what makes it fly, except Yulin Sky Tower, the wizard who created it. That's all he says for now. You can ask more if you want. And this ship should be at Sky Tower's location in, uh, where did you say it was? No. Ludonia, or where is it located? No, it, um, it should be pretty easy to find. Everybody's talking about it. Um, you'll probably get more information after you attack Sky Tower. Okay. Gotcha. Ask him if he knows if there's any rumors about what kind of weaponry it has. Uh, well, there's at least 70 crew on board. At least one of them uses magic, magic and they have at least a dozen cannons. <sighs> you guys don't have cannons. You have one mangonel and two ballista. A mangonel basically is a big thing that throws rocks. And ballistas just shoot giant spears. This thing has twelve has twelve cannons. Is it made of wood? Should we go straight to the flagship or go to Corsair's Morage first to tell them our plan? I think we go straight to the flagship. Nice to be able to upgrade Sky, our ship. Sky Tower. You want to go to Sky Tower first? O o Overseas says if you go to Corsair's Morage, they will hmm. immediately execute all of you. We'll have to kill all of them. That would suck if they were all dead. Yeah. Then they wouldn't be able to forgive us. Oh, they're all dead because we killed them all. Mm. Yeah, I think we go to Sky Tower first, Cap. Then we can go to... After we're cleared, we can go to Corsair's Morge and kill the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> we'll run that place. We can steal the flagship and then blow them all up. Bomb it. <laughs> yeah, steal the flagship, bomb it, and we'll destroy piratism ourselves. Uh, yeah. Overseas says, yeah, the thing can actually go really high. Some pirates have said that their ships were suddenly riddled full of holes and sinking before they even noticed the ship was approaching. Is, there. is, that, is the ship made of wood? Uh, that would be a question for the wizard. So you've never seen it. The only people who have ever seen it and live to tell the tale are those who managed to abandon ship before their ship sunk and then hide among the wreckage. Did anyone manage to damage it? Uh... I, I, I... There are... There, there, there has been... Word that people have tried to attack it. The problem is that everyone who's fought it has been annihilated so quickly no one is sure if they damaged it or not. Has anyone tried stabbing it? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no. How do we get up there? Is there, like, flying creatures we could take? Um, my guess would be you'll find something at Sky Tower. I mean, this oh, guy's I supposed the... to... <laughs> um, that was the wizard's name. It is. Oh. It's the name of the place, too. Named it after himself? Is it a tower? It is a tower. This guy's a fucking Sky... asshole. I can't wait to find that. <laughs> Sky Tower is named after Eulet Sky Tower. This... <laughs> 
This is the most choppable guy I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but but he's he's been commissioned to make a whole fleet of ships. Uh, so I imagine whatever research he's got there, or maybe he's got another ship. I'm sure he'll have a way for you to get there. All right, let's get going. All right, so what's your plan for us to get off of this island? Um. He, well, first he says, "Okay, so you're you ready to go now?" Uh, I want to search the desk to make oh. sure there's nothing in there, and then you you already searched it. Okay, yeah, it looks like you got a, a chest in I, here. Yeah. <laughs> uh what's in this? Go ahead. No. Yeah, I got a chest. <laughs> what's in it? Uh, you know, you can just have it. Oh, good. <laughs> I go over and open it up. Right. It's bad. It actually is unlocked. Um, the chest contains seven thousand five hundred gold and a broom of flying. My broom, you give, motherfucker! Give Eldar's broom back. I walk over and slap him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Taking my broom. You want a long rest here, guys? Yeah. Yeah. No one. I'll, I'll Is, you're going to sleep here? Yeah, your bed looks comfy. Okay. Why? I was hoping you'd leave. We're, you know, we just killed a lot of well, people. Yeah, how how would we get off of here? Is it is it something we could take a rest on? Oh, I'm, ship? I'm gonna teleport you to your ship. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. no, that that'll work. Good if I can just be on my let's ship. Make sure there's you don't have any other money or good stuff laying around here, do you? Wait, oh. how are you gonna teleport us to our oh. ship? You don't even know where it is. Check his pockets. Okay, I'll check, check his, his pockets. pockets. All right. How are you gonna teleport us to our ship? Magic. You can teleport us to something you know not where it is, or do you know where yes. it is? Yes, I can. Uh, he's got a shield and a long sword that he dropped on the ground. Um, but he's got no stuff. Hey, teach me this teleportation spell. Uh, it's really complicated. <laughs> These other shield. guys have anything? So we're going to take their weapons too. You can take their weapons. Um, they each have a morning star and uh, three javelin. Does his sword look special at all? Uh, make an investigation check. Okay, you don't know much about magic, but you do know that whenever weapons are magical, they they have like runes carved into them. This thing is sure it's 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 fine steel, um, but it's very plain. There's no gems. A, there's no runes. There's no nothing on it. This is a plain ass sword, man. React to that? No. You can make an insight check. Yeah, you no reaction at all. Yeah, let's just take it all anyway. Sure. Hey, sell it or something. Captain, do you want these uh, javelins? Um, no, I can't. You can't chop with a javelin, can you? I don't if you know. swing it hard you enough. Can, yeah, you try. You can chop with anything uh, if you swing it hard enough. Maybe but you know, no, you couldn't. I'll take the. Soft. There's two javelins. Javelin. There's six. Oh, six. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll take two javelins. Take the other four, sure. I'll just keep them. And you got the sword and shield. Is it a long sword? Yes. I'll take it. Okay, so he tells you um, 
how to get from Sky Tower, or how to get to Sky Tower. Like he tells you where it is. Mm -hmm. um, your navigator, which I think is number one. Yep. Um, you you understand exactly where he means. I understand exactly where he means. Okay. Anything else? Um. And and then do I know where we are as far as? Hey, what's in this door? Mapping goes. He um. He did. He didn't. Hasn't told you where you guys are. I want to know where we are. Um. Okay. He gives you coordinates. Okay. Okay. So we got to come back for some reason. Right. Yeah, if you have to kill him. Yeah. We gotta kill you. We gotta know how to get back here, you know? Oh, good. <laughs> I smirk. Oh, yeah, so people walking around the island now, um, there isn't really anything except um, this is where the elevator was, and there's, there's a cap stand here with a rope attached to it just hanging down a, a, a shaft. Interesting. Because the elevator fell. Alright. So basically, um, when it would go up, when it would go up, the bugbears would, would spin that thing, pushing it, and it would lift the elevator up. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright. He pulls the rug back, um, and underneath, there's a teleportation circle. He says, all right, everybody on. Better not be a trick. Rio says, if it is, I'll kill him. Good. Maybe kill make, him anyway. Yeah, make it nice and slow. If, it is a trick. <laughs> if we disappear, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, he... Make some signs with his hands, and jutsu. Huh? Jutsu. Yes. <laughs> uh, and all of you, with a pop, appear on your deck. Yay! Hooray! Is our crew here? The crew is there. Um, on the map. I've got them just kind of floating out in the middle of the ocean because I didn't really have a spot for each of them to sit. Um, the the crewmen are just kind of laying across the deck, just sick. And there's maybe like two of them that have recovered and they're trying to take care of everybody. But other than that, Back. Wrong, everybody. Just, there's just a chorus of, of moans. Because they're all sick from being Care poisoned. People? Heal them up. Yeah, so Jem, Jem goes and gets her supplies and starts trying to help everybody recover. Um, And you guys, uh, I would say, spend the rest of the day trying to get everybody to recover, getting the ship back into sailing condition. And the next day we'll start off towards Sky Tower. So at this point, everybody levels up to level six. Woohoo! And we get a, we get to put all of our spell slots back and stuff. Yeah. So Ooh, recover, recover first. Right. Get all your stuff we back. We don't have a button for that anymore, do we? No. Uh -uh. At this we point, Jack, that was like two years ago. Well, for you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> um. My hit dice that go up to. Um, yeah. you get three back. Thank you. Actually, take all of them back because this it's going to take you multiple days to get there, so you would just have okay. everything back. Okay. Make sure you give you all your spell slots back, your hit points, and your hit dice. Hey, did okay. I ever find the rest of my bullets? Sure, they could be. They could have been in the chest. I didn't worry about that because I was giving you a magic gun. Yeah, but you never know. And the broom you just couldn't have because 
Yeah, could have just sense. flown out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely have this cold too. I can feel it. Back in my throat feels like shit right now. Mm. Is everybody doing your level up? Yep. Um, how do I do that again? So you go to the gear. I'll click it. And then on the bottom right, launch level plus character mancer. Very bottom one. Oh, damn, look at those hit points. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starting at 6th level, your attacks in beast form count as magical? I thought they already did. Nope. Well, what does that mean, then? Um, some, some creatures have, like, resistance to non-magical bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, which is typically what animals do. Um, so now it counts as magic. When you attack with those. Twelve six. Huh? I said I don't get much for level six. Yeah. I get an extra rage and I can't be charmed or frightened while raging, which is pretty sweet. I mean that's pretty important for a uh barbarian anyway, because Yeah. Being charmed and frightened, like that's all like wisdom stuff, and wisdom is like your weak, your weak spot. Mm -hmm. Really, my intelligence is my weak spot, but yeah, wisdom's right after. Yeah, but there isn't so many intelligence saving throws. Wait, what's this multi-class thing I got going on here, Joe? That's if you wanted uh, to be level one and something else. What are, are you a warlock? Yeah. So if you wanted to be Warlock level 5 and something else level 1 at the same time, you could do that. Gotcha. So instead of going to level 6 Warlock, you could also be level 1 something else. Okay. No. That's pretty advanced. I'm, I'm not there yet. So I know Scully's done. Is anybody else done yet? I'm done. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm just figuring out what spells I want, but otherwise I'm done. Okay. Spells, I don't have any, like, new slots. So is it worth it to change any of them? Um, <clears throat> well, you get... You should be able to pre prepare one more spell a day. Um, did you pick? Did you pick one already? I don't get new ones. I already have 11. It says that I still have 11. So, like, I can change the ones that I had, but I still um, end up with 11. <sighs> Doesn't sound right. Um, why would you have already had 11? Six level one spells, three level two spells, and two level three spells. Yeah, I understand that. But you get to prepare one additional spell per level. So when you level up, you should get another one. Um, How come I didn't then? Yeah, it's, I guess, saying that you already had 11. I think, uh, just finish, and then I'll look at your character sheet. Okay, go ahead. 
It may be that we gave you a spell because of your warning. AC is not correct. Unequip extra armor or shield from item details. Oh, is that? Uh, here we go. Oh, because um, I have mail mail. Yeah. What do you guys think of the name The Pirates of the Curse? I like it. Yeah, it's alright. It's not, it's not nice. bad. I like it. A core was cursed by the mask. Yeah, that makes sense. I looked, yeah. up, a, looked up a pirate name generator. And <laughs> it felt like it was good. There was also... Or the, the cursed pirates. The pillagers of the new world we, we thought was good. Mm. Your, core, your circle of... Say which one? Why doesn't it say which circle you are? You must be circle of the moon, right? Yeah, you're circle of the moon. Uh, okay, well, why don't we go through and everybody tell everybody else what you got? Again? What? You want me to go again? Say what sure. I got? I got an extra rage, so I can now rage four times in a day. Um, and I am now immune to charm and frightened while raged. And if I am charmed or frightened before I rage, the effect is suspended for the duration of the rage. So basically I can erase a, ch a charm while I'm raged, and then when I come out of the rage, I'm back to being charmed, if that's Wait, possible. Teresa, I was I... looking at that. Oh, sorry. It's because create or destroy water doesn't count. You have create or destroy water because you're, you're a water ganasi. Okay. And we didn't have that unlocked on roll 20, so we just added it as a spell for you. So you can okay. add w one more spell. We'll we'll look at that when everybody's done. Um, okay. Who's next? Uh, I got um, two things for storm sorcery. I have resistant to lightning and thunder, and whenever I cast a first level or higher spell that does lightning and thunder damage, I can damage somebody uh, of my choosing within 10 feet. And then I can control weather to a certain extent. Uh, stop it raining within 20 foot radius. Change the direction the wind blows within a hundred foot radius. Who's next? I didn't really get anything except more hit points. Really? And yeah. I think I just had to pick what I was proficient in, and I just did um, deception and stealth, which was something I was already. Oh no, you got you got expertise in those things though. Mm, okay. A expertise, expertise means that you double your proficiency. So what are the two you took? You picked. Um, deception and stealth. Right. So your stealth your stealth modifier is plus eleven now. Okay. Oh. And your deception went up to seven. Um, your your deception is seven, even though your charisma is only plus one. I'm so deceptive. That's, the, that's what that is. So you you weren't adding proficiencies; you were doubling your proficiency. Ah, now. okay. Yep. So she she could she could roll a two and she'd get a thirteen on stealth now. So that's really good. If she rolls a nineteen, she gets a thirty. Uh, who's next? Um, Aladar, you haven't gone, right? 
No. You gotta add your oh. hit points. I didn't do that yet. It says you're hurt by ten. I'm hurt by ten. Oh. This thing's ten HP. For some reason. I know this. You're still in the creator. Yeah, like it won't let me apply what I did for So some I think reason. you must have, I think you must have broken something with multi classing. Oh. I think you need to cancel it and do it over. Oh. So Jim, why don't you go? I don't know if I got anything. I got some, another spell, but I don't know what it is yet. Right. You, well, you would have gotten another spell known. And, and higher hit Oh, and, and your your animal attacks are magic now. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, as far as a spell, what? so what is there that you think you should be able to do that you haven't been able to do while we've been playing as a druid? I feel like I should be able to do something like like an attack that's not going to explode and cause damage to everybody around them. Okay. So you have, right now, you have no level 3 attacks. You have Flame Blade and Flaming Sphere at level 2. Um, you have, at level 1, you have Earth Tremor, Ice Knife. Okay. Um, yeah, like, nothing is, like, all of them are, like... If I do them, then it's going to damage myself or other people. Uh-huh. So if I'm right next to somebody, there's not really much I can do without hurting myself or others. Okay. Well, um, let me start with level one. You can, you can get call lightning. Um... There has to be room for this cloud, but as long as there's room for it, uh, a cloud that is 10 feet tall with a 60-foot radius, that means 120 feet wide, the, a cloud appears, and when you cast the spell, you can cause lightning to strike. The creature makes a dexterity saving throw, or takes 3d10 lightning damage, or half on a success, and then on each of your turns until the spell ends, you can use your action to call lightning down again. I mean, that sounds good. It's a level 3 spell, and it's concentration, so if you get hit, you might lose it. Um, another spell that's good that you don't have is Hold Person. If they fail a Wisdom saving throw, you have them paralyzed in place, and any of your friends that attack them will have advantage, and if they hit, it's an automatic critical. I like that one. Is that the that's, one you want? That's a team player one. I like that. Okay. Another another good spell, if you wanted to trade one of them out, if you don't like your spells, is heat metal. Um, if somebody is holding metal, you can heat it up, and they automatically take the damage, and they make a saving throw to figure out whether or not they drop what they're holding. You don't like that one? As much as the other two. Okay. I just there's um, a lot of spells you have that you've never used. That's why I, like Earth Tremor, Beast Bond. Um, yeah, like that's what I was just thinking though. Like Healing Spirit, I've never used that one. I was just trying to read it. Yeah, that that's a good one. I wouldn't get rid of that. Your um, spells known, Teresa? Like, you don't have to trade a level two for a level two. I know. Always... I just yeah. I was just that was the one that I was looking at. Okay, well, if you want to take any time at all in between now and next session and look at any of the ones you're not sure what they are and let me know if you don't like them, we can replace them with other stuff. You can freely change your spells as a druid. What did you add? You add the whole, okay. I added whole person. Okay. All right, uh, Aladar, what did you get? So I got... Looks like you never finished. I got Counterspell and Dispel Magic. Yeah, okay. Click apply. And that's, that's the gist of it. You added two spells? I swapped one. Ah. Got rid of um, uh, Shadow Blade because I never I used it. 
Okay. And just remember with your with your spell slots, you get them back every short rest, but you do only have two. Right. That's just one of those things with like using counter spell, it's a it's it, it's a great use. Remember it's one of your two spells if you use it for that. Right. Um okay. So that's what everybody got. Just want to hear my pirate names that I came up with? Yeah. All right. So I've got eight suggestions here. Um, these are ones I thought sounded cool or, or you know, you know, uh, what's the word? <laughs> Made sense to our thing here. Fitting. Uh, yeah, fitting. Thank you. Uh, the Pirates of the Curse, the Pillagers of the New World, the Dividers, the Raiders of the Eternal Curse, the Pirates of the Black Fog. Which I just thought that sounded cool. Uh, Pirates of the Void, Black Skull Pirates, or the Defiant Buccaneers. Ooh, I like the last one. A lot of really good ones. I vote for Buccaneers. Defiant Buccaneers. <laughs> I like the way you say Buccaneers. Buccaneers. <laughs> See the size of his buccaneers? <laughs> Travis, can you go through it one more time? I posted it in the uh, chat there. Oh, Brian. sweet. Okay. No, no, no. That's, that's good. I think everybody pick one or two that you thought was was good, and we'll talk about it. I like the Void or the Buccaneers. Those are both good. Smashy she said she liked the Void and the first two. But you can speak for yourself, Smashy. What you said is true. Shut up, Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa? I like the Pirates of the Void and the Defiant Buccaneers. My two favorites, too. I also like Pirates of the Curse. I mean, you could confine two of them and get rid of the word pirates because it's kind of weird to have that in your name. Cursed Void. <laughs> the... the Defiant of the Void. The de- <laughs> <laughs> The Defiant Void. <laughs> we are the Defiant of the Void. <laughs> what? The, the Black Fog Void Defiance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people won't know we're pirates if we don't have <laughs> pirate won't know we're pirates. <laughs> pirates. <laughs> About Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um I'm trying to think of like what are some real pirate names from history? Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> One eyed Willie. Pirates in their name. <laughs> I think they were called by their ship more yeah. so. Your guys' ship is the Panther Heart. What's up, Diva? It's Dungeons and Dragons. Pirate version. What the Buccaneers of the Void. What do you what do you think are pirate names? Are you asking? What we're trying to talk about. <laughs> Terrible. I'm not. I'm not. Well, you guys, <laughs> we can keep talking about this because I that, that's actually the end of chapter two, so I don't want to go into the next thing. If we were a little further ahead, I'd do a half hour of it, but too late. The most liked options? Pirates of the Void and the Defiant Buccaneers are the two most liked, I think. Just vote on one of those or mix it up? How about Dividers of the Void? Ooh. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Teresa was really into it. I was into it. 
<laughs> the void gapers. <laughs> the gaping void. Pillagers <laughs> <laughs> of the void. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do void. <laughs> of the void. <laughs> Bandits the of the black hole. But the pillage people. <laughs> the pillage people. Plant <laughs> 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 Panther Heart. Plant Panther Heart Pirates. Plant. <laughs> Panther. I That's like the Fiat a... Panther Heart. Fiat Panther Heart. The Panther Heart. The Gaping Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We could be the Panther Hearts from the Void. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> That's the oh man, you're fresh <laughs> out the Void. <laughs> The steaming <laughs> panther heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. Hmm. Are the cursed panther hearts? Ooh, cursed panther hearts. Yeah. Do we have like a panther on our ship or something? Is it no. Panther Heart the name of the ship? Just the name. It's because your ship is is painted entirely black. What color are sails? Um, I think they're red. Remember, you've got fire resistant sails. Mm -hmm. They're made from dragon scale. Makes sense too. Panther Heart, red sails. Of the black yeah. fog would be cool with a black ship. Yeah, that's why. Just yeah, that. I like that. Isn't that just smoke? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? You know when you yeah. evaporate chocolate? <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's one of those things that it's, it's just like imagery and stuff. Like yeah. fog, we're the fog rolling in, and we're black. Sure. I like the black flag. That's good. Sure. Yeah, Everybody fine. run! It's Captain so, Scully in the Black Fog! That's it. That's the one. Yeah, I think that sounds good. The Black Fog? Yeah, that feels pretty good. Scully in the Black Fog. Here that was on the list the whole time! <laughs> go burn that town down and set it on fire, and it'll be you know, reminiscent of Black Fog. Well, that would take you out of the way. I do want to kill those people, though. I mean, we can do that if you want. It's going to extend the length of this adventure. We're already going slow. Who would done if we had just killed that guy? Huh? Oh, what would I have done? I would have rolled to see how many weeks you have to wait before a ship shows up. And people would have potentially starved to death. I think we're good. Black flag. I like it. I'm trying to think if there was anything else interesting from today that you probably could have asked him some questions about the sky tower before just going there. Uh, I don't trust him anyway. Sure. Our decision making is based on our pirates and our captain's intelligence, and it makes sense that we didn't ask any questions in the tower. Well, I mean, Eldar <laughs> asked about the ship. A little smarter than me, I think. Yeah. Mm. You got to play his broom, I think. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to have back. Okay. Well, cool. Well, we'll just um <clears throat> pick this up next week with uh, the trip to Sky Tower and uh, see how that goes. Sounds good. Sounds fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. yes. Go team go. Well played. Yeah, good On job. That note, roll for